In this video I'll show you how to clean and maintain the Dyson V8 cordless vacuum cleaner. It doesn't matter whether it's the Animal, Fluffy or the Absolute. Uh, all of them are pretty much the same apart from some of the accessories they come with. So let's get going. So first of all what you'll want to do is to actually empty the bin on the cleaner. And this is really easy to do. All you do is get the handle at the top and you pull it like that. And then all the dirt empties out. So really what we want to do before we carry on cleaning is to get rid of this. So now that we've emptied the bin, what we want to do is to take this part off. And it is very easy. All you need to do, inside here, there's a red button. All you do is press that. It's a little bit fiddly, but press it and then carry on pulling that. And then that will come off. And we'll work on that in a moment. So to take the bin off, all we need to do is have a look underneath and you've got a red switch there. Just press that and then pull the whole bin down and that just comes off like that. The first thing to do is to give it a rinse under warm water. And once you've done this, let it dry, ideally overnight, now the next bit to clean is the filter on the top, that just pulls out there and again with this just give it a rinse on the warm water and before you put it back together then it has to be dry. And the next bit to clean is the filter on the back that just twists off. So with this again it's just designed to rinse under warm water and just let it dry before you put it all back together. And once you've fully dismantled it, then that's pretty much what you'll be left with. And the best thing with this is to get a paintbrush. And if you just brush around inside, because that's where the motor is, and a lot of the mechanisms. And again, that side. Hopefully it should be nice and clean in there. Just do around the seal on the back. And just make sure it's nice and clean. When it comes to the accessories, these are important to keep clean as the main vacuum cleaner. First of all, this is the fluffy head, which it, it comes with the absolute and the fluffy model, but not the animal. Uh, literally all you do to take this apart, if you have a screwdriver, a flat headed one to hand, then just put it in the side there and twist it. And then what happens is that part will just pull down like that and then it comes off and that will come off easily. Again, you can just rinse it under warm water. And the same with that part. And with the rest of it, I recommend not putting this under water, but just get a paintbrush and just brushing it all to make sure it's nice and clean. And to put that back together, all you do is get the main part, put it on there and the small accessory so that just slots in the side clicks in there and that just pops on the side there and to finish that off just twist that and that one's done now this is the main motor head and slightly easier to clean than the fluffy head. Again just get a screwdriver, put it in the side and if you twist that just pulls out. Again with that you can just rinse it under warm water and just make sure it's fully dry before you put it back together. And inside here again I wouldn't recommend putting this under warm water because there's quite a lot of intricate detail in here but just get a paintbrush and just make sure it's all clean and then once you've done that then to put this back together just put that in the side and if you just locate that 
get the screwdriver and away you go. Now with the mini motorised brush, this is the smaller accessory. Again it's very easy to clean, all you do is get the screwdriver, put it in the side and that twists, take that off and a little bit fiddly to get out but that just pulls out like that just rinsed under warm water and again with that just get a, a paintbrush and just make sure it's nice and clean inside and once this is dry and just pop that back in the side and put that on. Get your screwdriver and twist and away you go again. When it comes to cleaning this part Dyson don't recommend getting any of this wet or washing any of it so really what we recommend when it comes to cleaning it is just to get a brush and just a piece of newspaper and brush around the edge just to get any dirt off but when it comes to the inside here as you can see you can actually get a lot of dirt in there so first of all what you can do is that rubber seal at the bottom that just pulls off also the seal around the edge is a little bit fiddly but that does also come off so you can really get in and give it a good clean but when it comes to the inside then just brush around in there and as far as the inside here really what I recommend is try and get a long thin brush and put it all the way in and try and get the dirt out because a lot of dirt can accumulate in there but again wouldn't recommend washing that in there because chances are you wouldn't be able to dry it properly and then once you've done that just put the rubber seal back on the bottom and put the uh, other seal around the edge and then you're ready to start putting it back together okay so once everything's dry then just locate those two parts with the bin That's it, just clips into there. And then that will just, if you just locate it, you can just tee the two sections there. Just locate it. Back in. That pushes in. And then you can close the bin. And if you get the filter on the back, that one there and just make sure that's properly dry and then that just drops in the top and that's basically how to clean the Dyson V8 vacuum cleaner